Yes. Brutal. Very and linear recovery. We're about to see an action, too. Shouts to all of the colorblind viewers. They picked red and green fox. <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully, uh, they have tags. So, so far, light with a wild up tilt into a multi-jab. Definitely going to see a lot of that in this matchup, too, I feel like. I feel like the tension will rise in this match at any point as soon as one of them is in control of the ledge. Yes. Because, as you mentioned, the linearity of recovery for Fox is so susceptible to just getting eaten alive, whether it's the down smash screen we've already seen from Light, whether it's the, the famed up tilt, or any offstage option. Honestly, Odyssey was putting so many hits together, I don't know if we'd ever see that. Odyssey looks like he just wants to take the stock now. Oh! Right, tries to go for the back here. Odyssey sneaking in under it. Crazy trade. Oh, nice Nair. That was huge, actually. Nice tech, though. Oh, Just smart. barely slipping his way in. But a back air from Odyssey lets him take first blood over light. That was huge. At holding down with that Firefox was like so integral to changing the pace of what was going to be light stock. And then all of a sudden, Odyssey said, no, no, no. It's going to be me taking the lead. Though light's certainly not out of it yet. He goes for his own car grab. And Odyssey going for the ledge. Meets it with a forward air, but kind of dangerous option. All right, actually, too high a percent for that up air to connect after the up tilt, but that grab going a little too deep. Give him the split. And just like that, we're looking at an even game. 20% is nothing in the grand scheme of how Fox can combo an opponent. Definitely not. All right, catches that rolling with the up tilt, but up tilt actually pretty bad, low percent. It's uh, what I like to call negative on hit. You, uh, you just get beat up for getting the hit. Great stuff. What a move. Nice. Just like that, we're sitting at mid percentages right now. This is prime time for either of these foxes, whoever's in control. But control, as we've seen throughout this game one, is fast and fleeting. Yep, that power shield and the up tilt, huge for light. Got Odyssey off stage, another up tilt. Nair into, doesn't get the tech read. Once again, the empty hop into grab working fantastically in this matchup. Yep. Oh, huge Nair. Odyssey was just looking to catch him. With the landing, you can see the few first frames of up smash coming up. The light fell as fast as he could to get that Nair into up smash himself. But that was down to the wire, man. I don't know if I can take three games of this. <laughs> well, let's see if we can. <laughs> Game two, Odyssey's stage choice. Now, it's very dangerous. Whatever stage he picks is good for him, it's going to be good for light. Exactly. So it's got to be the run back to Palo Tennis Temple. Smart. Omega. A, a good option for sure. Keeping platforms out of the way, that way uh, landing options aren't reduced and combo extension opportunity is also reduced because we know Fox loves to just bring things higher and higher. Wow, nice F-Smash. His up tilt is huge, gonna be a lot of percent. Goes for the Trump, super smart. Oh my god. This is evil, look at this. Soft stage interaction just began. Odyssey sitting at 71%. Uh, oh, gets that last hit of fair, not what he was looking for. And another roll on into up tilt. Uh. All right. <laughs> they uh, want the jab one. Yep. All right. Well, Light going to open him up with that rapid jab of his own. Not get the up tilt, but gets the roll on with the hip check. We see a nice change of scenery over to the opposite side of the stage where Light manages to take the first stop with only 33% built up onto him. A very different game from that first one, but this is an explosive match no matter what Smash game you're playing. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> like, Fox Ditto's always a glory. And commonplace. So unfortunate, man. Odyssey ran into two perfect shield on dash attack, back throw on the left side of the stage. And that's pretty much just what cost him that last game. We didn't even have to see like the drag down into footstool. Nope. It was just the one meteor box of forward air just sent him completely down. Exactly.